In this quick tip, I will show you as fast as possible how to configure a proxy on Ubuntu. And in this video we will see three types of proxy configuration. First, I will show you how to set a system-wide proxy configuration at the user level. So uh, what this means is that for a specific user, we will set the proxy so it can be used by any tool that does not have a proxy configuration of its own. Then we will see how to configure proxy for the apt and apt-get tools. And last but not least, see how to use a, a proxy with the curl command. So first uh, system-wide proxy. What uh, this is, is a uh, proxy setting that any tool from uh, the Linux OS can use if it doesn't have a proxy configuration of its own. You can set the proxy configuration for the current session or you can uh, configure it to be permanent by uh, pasting that command in the profile script. In order to test that the proxy works, you will also need a DNS server configured so that name resolution can work. For the apt and apt-get uh, proxy setting it's very simple. You just need to set the proxy configuration in a file. And regarding the curl tool, maybe you just need to uh, parse a specific site or download some files from the internet. And in this case, you can pass the proxy configuration directly in the curl command. So let's start with setting uh, the proxy at the system level for user 100. And uh, this is actually pretty simple. You use the export command and you set the value of this environment variable to your proxy server. I also put here uh, what to do in case you use a proxy with authentication. So check this uh, script file to see. In my case, I don't have an authentication. So I just hit enter. And if you want this to be permanent, you just put this command in the profile script for your user. Uh, now, uh, before we test that the proxy works, let's also configure a DNS server so that name resolution can work. And this is how we put a DNS server on a Linux system. We open resolve.conf. And in uh, resolve.conf, we change the name server with a real DNS server. Let's exit the file, save it, exit. And now we can test that our proxy works using the wget command to uh, get info from uh, a specific site. And you see that the proxy works because we were able to download index.html, uh, which is 27.82k and so on. So our first setting worked. We have a system-wide proxy configured. Now let's move on and I will show you how to configure the proxy for the apt and apt-get tools. So you can download the packages from the internet. First, we need to create a configuration file. So we use touch for this. Then we need to add a specific line in this configuration file. So first we open it with nano and then I put the line right here. And again, if your proxy uses authentication, you will find here details about how to uh, set also that information. For me, it's pretty simple. Let's save it. Let's exit. And now the only thing we 
have to do is test that it's working by installing a package. Let's install for example a DHCP server. And you see we don't even need to install it. Actually you see that it found it on the internet and it uh, asks us now if we want to continue or not. I will choose no but rest assured that it is working. And the last thing that we will see in this video is how to use the curl command with a proxy. So uh, we want to parse google.com and with minus x we can give it our uh, proxy parameters. And uh, as you see from this output this also worked. So these are the three ways that you can use a proxy on your uh, Ubuntu Linux system. If you enjoyed the video then please like it and share it. Also subscribe to be notified when I put out new videos and thanks a lot for watching.